Hello and welcome to my channel. My name's Ali and this here is Cyrus and he's one of our baby chinchillas that we had born this year. So I'm actually trying to start off a series of videos uh, relating to the realities of owning a chinchilla and basically the things that you wouldn't necessarily know about chinchillas before you get them. Now this is the first instalment and this is just a little bit of a silly video really don't take it too seriously it's just five weird things chinchillas do that you may not know about and you probably should know about before you get chinchillas <laughs> So, number one, we'll start as we mean to go on. Chinchillas eat their own poop. That's disgusting. Yes, I know it sounds gross and it looks gross, but it's actually perfectly normal. It's called copophagy and it's where chinchillas, the first time that they poop, sometimes there's nutrients still in the poop so they have to re-ingest it in order to extract that extra nutrients out it happens with animals that eat a lot of fibrous food so rabbits do it guinea pigs do it and so do chinchillas so if you see your chinchilla bending down and picking up poop that it's just passed out of its butt and putting it back in its mouth don't get grossed out it's perfectly normal for them to do this it's not some strange behavior so yeah, gross thing number one. Number two, I told you we're going to start as we mean to go on. This is for ma people that own male chinchillas, male chinchillas only. So male chinchillas clean themselves. And what I mean by clean themselves is that they clean their man bits. Now you might think that's not very strange, cats do this, dogs do this, but when a chinchilla does it, it actually fully extends, they fully extend their manhoods. Who else has seen this filth? And this can look very, very strange, off-putting and kind of like can gross you out slightly by what they're doing. It can be embarrassing if you have friends and family around and your chinchilla starts doing this or it can be difficult to explain to a three-year-old for example when my three-year-old asked me mummy what's Saturn doing that can be tricky but basically it's it may look very very odd but it's actually a really important part of their hygiene routine so male chinchillas can get a thing called herring and it's where loose fur from either the cage or from another chinchilla that we're with um, gets wrapped around their and it makes it difficult for them to retract their it can make them feel very very uncomfortable if it gets too tight it can actually cause the circulation to actually stop in the penis area and it can become necrotic and it can actually if it's left long enough can actually result in the death of your chinchilla so it's really important they do actually go down there and clean whenever they can but i would say if your chinchilla is cleaning down there a lot like several times a day and seems to be fussing around that area you may want to check them for herring because they shouldn't be constantly going down to that area to clean some of mine do it once a day twice a day but they shouldn't be constantly going down there. So yeah, fun fact for you. If you've got a male chinchilla, expect to see this at some point. People that have got male chinchillas can relate to this, I'm sure. Number three. Chinchillas have scent glands and they can actually release scent. They can do it when they're startled, frightened, but males could also do it to mark their territory, especially if they can smell a female in season. It's not an overpowering smell and it doesn't, it's not a disgusting smell, but it is a unique smell. And you might not ever experience this if you've got a female chinchilla and you don't scare it or you don't startle it. You may never even smell it ever. 
um, you're more likely to smell it if you've got a male because as I say if they're feeling frisky they will release scent and they will swish their tails from side to side to, to kind of like disperse it into the air because it's like this is my territory so yeah another, another thing they have that you may not be aware of before you buy them number four chinchillas can sleep in some very very strange positions the normal position for chinchilla sleeping is kind of like all on all fours but they can actually sleep standing up they can sleep on their back they can sleep with their legs in the air they can sleep on their side they can sleep up against the cage they can sleep they can sleep in a whole manner of weird ways and they think it's because in the wild they sleep in caves and also in rock crevices and they don't always have the perfect sleeping position so they can sleep in pretty awkward ways the sleeping on the side position is the position I like to call the heart attack position not because the chinchillas had a heart attack because it gives me a heart attack when I go in there and I see them because honestly it does look like they've passed away when they do this I normally go up to the cage and I normally blow on them and see whether they move I don't know if anyone else does that but that's what I do and I think thank god for that then they're all right they're just sleeping weird but if your chinchilla is sleeping on their side a lot you might want to check the temperature of your room because chinchillas sleep on their side when they're too hot sometimes or just check them for general health but sometimes they just like to sleep on their side when chinchillas are heavily pregnant the females are heavily pregnant they sleep on their sides but then that's because they can't find a comfortable position which I can fully relate to <laughs> number five this is not gross at all it's quite endearing chinchillas can do a thing called popcorning now in rabbit world i think it'd be called binkies um, but it's where they just get a little bit of excess energy and they like hop around and leap around a little bit like a lamb really they leap around and do like lots of weird movements now some people say that it's purely uh, excess energy and that's all it is they've just got excess energy and they're just trying to work it off on the other hand you've got people that say it's what they do when they're happy i prefer the happy kind of um um explanation because i think the other one's a bit of a killjoy but regardless if your chinchilla is popcorning around the place then I would say you've got a happy chinchilla or a healthy chinchilla at least because healthy chinchillas have lots of energy if your chinchilla doesn't have energy and is unwell he won't be popcorning around the house he'll, he'll, he'll be they, they don't do it if they don't they're not healthy so either way they're either happy or they're healthy or they're healthy and happy I love seeing it I think it's one of the most endearing things ever it makes me smile from ear to ear and there's a Instagram account on Instagram and it's called chinchilla FM FM I think it's called and I'll put a just thing in the description I think they're from the Far East I'm not sure where they're from but what they do is they film their chinchilla popcorn in, in slow motion and it's one of the most joyous things I think I ever can watch and I love his account for that so yeah that's five things that chinchillas weird things that chinchillas do um sorry this video is a bit higgledy piggledy but I'm not well and you know that's that really um hope you enjoyed it if you do subscribe yay